Hello and welcome to another installment of World of Sumo News. I'm Mika Grimmer. Thank you for joining me for this episode as we take you through the Jiro promotions, the big Magaki Oyakata news, not to mention the ex Ozeki Koto Shogiku and Ikiyo's dealings with the police. But don't worry, it's in a good way. As well as much, much more. But before we dig into the news, Scott and I have come together to decide that bringing some routine to your news updates might be a good thing. And it will certainly help us bring y'all better content. So from this video onward, World of Sumo News has become your weekly Sumo Sunday news broadcast. We know that there's news that sometimes just can't wait, and in those cases, we will strive to bring you the breaking news for anything that shakes up the world of our beloved sport. That way, you can stay up to date and have the most factual and latest news possible. We even have a couple of what we're calling our man in Japan, or in this case, men in Japan, who are helping us get the first hand fans' view of each basho, of any basho that they're able to attend. We would also like to point out that the artist Noah Welbrook Tali, who has generously given us his amazing sumo art to use in our videos. We believe that his art, as well as all of the images and videos given to us by our men in Japan, are really helping to make a unique difference to our content, so a huge thank you to all of them. And without further ado, let's get on to the news. Hakioi! First up, we're going to talk about who gets the grace of Jiro Dohyo. There are three Shinjiro and one returnee. The first Shinjiro is Koto Yusho of Saruja Kakebeya, and I'll tell you what, Hide no Yama Oyakata was elated for him in a recent Facebook post. You'll likely know him as Shiba of Kiseibeya, but he has changed his Shikona now that he's made his long-awaited debut in Jiro, and his new Shikona is Shiden. And the last Shinjiro is former high school Yokozuna Kitanawaka of Hakakubeya. We wish them luck as they join the returnee Jiro Arashi of Kokunoe Beya to Jiro in January. This does mean it looks like there are going to be three demotions from Jiro down to Makushita. Who do you think it will be? Let us know in the comments. Moving on to retirements. 32-year-old Higo Arashi of Kisei Beya, whose highest rank was Makushita 2, has announced his retirement. Mito Tsukasa of Irumagawa Beya, who is 34 years old and whose highest rank was Makushita 39, has also announced his retirement. Stepping a little bit away from the dohyo, 29-year-old former Jiryu Rikishi, Takaryu, of Kisei Beya, who retired during the May Basho, had his Danpachiki on December 4th. About 70 people attended. Goedo's Danpachiki has been scheduled for January 29th at the Kokugi Khan. Speaking of the Kokugi Khan, we do have some Hatsubasho news. Until recently, the anti-coronavirus measures prohibited re-entry and spectating hours were reduced. They will be allowing spectators in from 8.30 in the morning again on days 1 through 12 and 10 a.m. on days 13 through 15, as sumo starts a little bit later on the final three days. And while it's still a few months away, we do have some Harubasho news as well. The association is currently planning on having it take place in Osaka for the first time in two years with a 75% capacity, which means upwards to about 5,500 spectators. Hidenoyama Oyakata, former Ozeki Koto Shogiku, donated his sole Yusha winner's portrait on December 2nd to his hometown of Yanagawa. The portrait will be displayed in the central lobby of Suito Yanagawa Cultural Hall. Approximately 50 people attended the unveiling event. Hidenoyama Oyakata, also went to the police station in Yanagawa to encourage people to be safe at the end of the year during a special New Year's holiday season announcement ceremony. Hidenoyama Oyakata seems to be making a great effort to give back to everyone, especially those who supported him. And we here at World of Sumo are excited for Hidenoyama Beya to open up and for the Oyakata to train his own Heia of prospects. More sumo police news. On December 1st, Kasukayama Oyakata, the former Sekiwake Ikioi, became the chief of the Osaka Prefecture Police Department for the day. He called for caution against street crimes and for the safety in the area for the end of the year. Kasukayama Oyakata was quoted to say, There's only a month remaining this year, so please do your best. I hope the citizens will have a smile on their face to welcome the new year. Last but certainly not least, Magaki Oyakata, the former Yokozuna Hakuho Sho, has been awarded five Guinness World Records. Yes, you heard me right, five. One for his 45 Yushos, one for the most top division wins at 1093, one for the longest ever reigning Yokozuna at an amazing 84 Basho, 
and won for the most bouts ever won by a sumo wrestler at 1,187. And the final one is for an incredible 16 Zenjo Yu show or perfect 15-0 records. Just wow. The ex-Yokozuna certainly has left his mark on the sumo world with records unlikely to be beaten in our lifetimes. He's a once in a generation Rikishi for sure. And he's on a path to be a leader in sumo, even off the dohyo. That's it for this episode of World of Sumo News. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. Be sure to check out our most recent Inside the Dohyo podcast, where we're joined by Jason from Jason's All Sumo channel. You can check it out in this link in the top corner of your screen. Links for our website, store, and all articles used in this video are in the description box, as well as all relevant links. I'm Mika Grimmer. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next one.